Dr. Farizan Bentibunajan. Hi, I'm Nor Akila Eliana. In this video, we are going to present about how electric guitar are powered by electromagnetism for our assignment. In this video, we are going to talk about interaction of electromagnetism, what is electromagnetism, interaction of electric guitar, difference between acoustic guitar and electric guitar, construction and electromagnetism in electric guitar, principle operation of guitar pickups and how it is improving sound using Faraday's law. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Siti Nur Aini Mita Amin. Today, I would like to begin about introduction to electromagnetism. First of all, I would like to explain a bit about what is electromagnetism. Hmm, what is electromagnetism? Okay, let's start. As you can see here, electromagnetism is a branch of physics that deals with the electromagnetic force that occurs between electrically charged particles. The electromagnetic force is one of the four fundamental forces. As we know, current and magnet are strictly and not connected together. But until this man discovered one thing about electromagnetism, do you guys want to know about what he discovered? Okay, let's go. He noticed that there was a current carrying conductor. Like we know, but this is a wire with some current going through. Put it across a battery, there will be some current. All of a sudden, we will notice that the compass needle, when it started to turn, we know that this happened and when does it happen? When the compass thing to start deflecting from its original posi position. Yes, when you take a bar magnet next to it. But there is no bar magnet here. There is only a wire carrier and this magnetic compass is beginning to turn next to next that wire. And Christine also started playing with this and taking further and further away but the effect wasn't much so he take it closer and closer until it started turning more then he switched off the power and all of a sudden it went back to the old position now he began to be a subtle and very important what was that? that is somehow a current behaving just like a magnet that's really a fascinating because we only thought these two are split. It was a moment just like Newton realized when the apple fall down is the same thing as the moon falling into the earth and somehow, two things that we thought to be not connected have suddenly become connected together. And, and that's one of the places where science made a big progress. So do you see now? A current can be that very similarly to a magnet. So let's start playing with it even more. So let's say we take a current carrying oil and you know there are some charges going through it. And we all know that they are going in some direction. So we would say the current is flowing in that particular direction. Imagine positive charge if that were true. Then if I turn this wire this way such that wire is coming right to you with the current flowing at you. Then let's imagine what would happen if I take a compass and keep in a various point. Okay next, to represent magnetic field in very simple manner, Christian after gave us what's called a thumb right rule hand having a right hand. He said if the current is going, let's say the current is going upwards, then you create a while the current is going upwards, then if I could point with my thumb to, to the direction of the current, and if I curl my finger, then the direction in which I call my finger gives me the direction of the magnetic field line. That's actually used for a very simple way to imagine a magnetic field. Because because of the straight current conductor. Okay, that's all for the introduction to electromagnetism. Now we move to the next part. Thank you, Nuraini. So hi everyone, my name is Siti Mariam Tiramli. So today I would like to present about interaction electric guitar and different acoustic guitar and electric guitar. So what we know about electric guitar? Electric guitar is magnified electrically by a microphone or picker device that is built into the instrument or attached externally by an audio frequency amplifier. Then, the loudspeaker, the volume, and the resonance are controlled by the player. This electric guitar was first discovered by Michael Faraday. It was utilized the concept of Faraday law as well as other concepts related to magnetism. Let me tell you a little bit how the electric guitar works. The sound from an electric guitar is produced by electromagnetic pickups that send vibration in the string electronically and route the electric signal to the amplifier and the speaker. Hmm. What is the difference between acoustic guitar and electric guitar? Let me show you the physical of acoustic guitar and electric guitar.
The different function of acoustic guitar and electric guitar is the function of acoustic guitar is to make music a song without using electricity. And for the electric guitar is working by or giving off electricity. The first made of acoustic guitar is 1,500 years and for the electric guitar is 1,920 years. The size body of acoustic guitar is thicker while the electric guitar is thinner. So, what are the difference about how they work? First, for the acoustic guitar, when the strings are strung, they vibrate. Second, the vibration moves through pieces of wood, called bridge and cellars to the soundboard. Third, it transfers the energy of the vibrated string to the air within the guitar body. Four, this amplifies sound and makes it loud enough to hear. Five, the sound's hole helps to project the sound from within the hollow body. Next, how the electric guitar works. First, when an electric play, string movement produces a signal by generating a small electric current in the magnetic pickups, each a magnet's one with coil of very fine wire. Second, the signal passes through the tone and volume circuits to the output check and through a cable to an amplifier. There are two advantages of acoustic guitar and electric guitar. For the first advantage, acoustic guitar is ready to play with no need to invest in amplifier, cables, or other hardware. Second, can deliver the common and naturally soothing food. Next, the advantage for the electric guitar first, doesn't need to disturb other by supply plugging headphones into the amplifier. The second, has the ability to deliver a broader palette of sounds. There are two disadvantages of acoustic guitar and electric guitar. For the first, acoustic guitar is playing that acoustic guitar is certain to be tougher on your fingers. The second one, the guitar has a wider fretboard which can be difficult for beginners to handle at first. For this advantage, electric guitar, first, setting up the right tone isn't the easiest for the complete beginner. And the second one, not a practical choice for folk music or other acoustic style. That's all from me, Siti Mariam Ramli. Thank you. Thank you, Siti Mariam. Hi, I'm Nur Shafika Zairin Dinti Mohamad Shaib. Now, I will explain about how electromagnetism works in electric guitar but before that i will show you the construction of electric guitar i have electric guitar with me now so electric guitar have three main part which is we have head where the tuner located we have neck where the fret located we have string and the last part we have body at guitar body we have a pickup here, pick up, and we have pick up controller at the side, and the last one we have volume and tone controller. The question is, where is the electromagnetism happen? Hmm. Electromagnetism happen at the pick up under the string. How it work? Let's check it out. What is guitar pickup and how it works? Guitar pickup is an inductive sensor that consists a simple form of coil wrapped around a permanent magnet. The inductive sensor hit below string made up of magnetic metal. When the string vibrates, a signal will generate in the coil so that the metal string becomes partially magnetized. When it vibrates, it will produce a small electric current flow through a wire pickup coil. How is the view of the magnetic field? So here. When the string moves away from the magnet, the magnetic field will expand. And when the string moves toward the magnet, the magnetic field will contract it. From here. We can use right hand rule to know the direction of electron and the direction of magnetic field. In this case, we use right hand rule to know the direction of the electron and the magnetic field. When the string moves away, the magnetic field will point to the left and the induced current will point down and the movement of electron will move toward our string. And if the string moves toward the magnet, it will become like this. As we can see here, the movement of the magnetic field will point to the right. The induced current will point down, it remains same. And the move of electron will point to it ourselves. So, that's all for me. Thank you.
for the last part, I will continue our presentation on how it is improving sounds using Sparada's law. It's a basic rule of physics that are changing magnetic field produce electricity. So a guitar string will produce electricity only for as long as the magnetic field is changing. In the other words, for only as long as the metal string is moving, once the string stops vibrating, the sound stops. In that respect, an electric guitar is just like an acoustic one. Unfortunately, a simple pickup with a single cord of wire is just as good at picking up straight electrical energy from power supply and other interference. So it generates a certain amount of unwanted background noise. Some guitars solve this problem using what are known as humbucking pickups. These are have two cord of wire arranged so they can capture double the signal from moving guitar string to produce a richer sound. Each cord is wired up so any stray harm it captures from nearby electrical equipment is cancelled out by the other coil. Most guitars have two or more pickups which create a variety of different effects. Typically, there is one pickup under the bridge of the guitar where the string are supported and another one is slightly higher at, up at the bottom of the neck, the part of the guitar that stick out of the main body. Hi, welcome back with me. Okay, as a conclusion for this topic, at the end of this topic, we will get the knowledge about what is electromagnetism and how electromagnetism works in some application like a electric guitar like my team members mentioned before. Since the electromagnetic wave that sound as in the world come in a variety of energy level, scientists consider them to be a part of a single spectrum that includes all the different forms. This is why we refer all these waves together as an electromagnetic spectrum. So the universe can be used by people to do many types of tasks even though we cannot see most of the energy on spectrum but it is our daily life. That's all for me and my team members. Thank you for paying attention. Last but not least, stay safe, stay at home and take care. Have a nice day.